Hi there, this is Sheena Rowlands and today I'm sharing with you my latest layout for the Kupfar crew. So the Kupfar we're using this month is by the Cut Shop. It's called With Love. I've cut it in um, black basil cardstock and I've decided to use it with some 49 and Market Spectrum Sherbet. Uh, I've still got quite a bit of this collection left. Uh, wasn't sure which of the two pink backgrounds to use, but I decided to use the paler one so I could add some mixed media to the background. So using the pencil, I just drew around the inners of all the hearts. So I've got an idea where it's going to sit on the background. I just showed you a quick look at the other bits and pieces I've got in pinks um, to go with it. And we'll come back to that. So having picked three um, Distress Oxides in shades of pink, I decide that I'm actually going to colour underneath the open hearts rather than backfill or anything else with the cut file. I'm actually going to literally fill each one with ink underneath. And I systematically work around with different shades of pink, doing kind of like heart shapes with uh, one of these soft brushes. To be honest, with hindsight, I could have probably just done circle blobs because by the end... <laughs> all of the heart shapes seem to join up a little bit. And whether you can tell how many shades of pink I've used, I don't know. But it kept me happy and I just worked my way around, filling different ones in. I keep lifting the cut file back on just to make sure that I'm actually filling them because as I go over the top with the ink, uh, it covers the pencil marks and I couldn't actually always see uh, where I'd gone. Sprayed a little bit of water on it as well because these are oxides to get a little bit of a reaction. It's very faint, so you can't see it so much at the moment. You probably see it better in the close-ups. And there's a couple of bits there that I thought I'd just come back in and add, add a little bit more softness. But I think that adds a little bit of depth underneath. So now I need to think about matting the photo. I'm going to use some dark pinks from the Spectrum Sherbet. And I'm also going to use some other bits and pieces. One of these is one of the frames that come on their packaging. And I'm thinking about using that. So I cut it out just as a precaution. I don't really want to cover up too much of the cut file or too much of the ink, to be honest. So I'm looking at doing some sort of small cluster. So I'm just playing at the moment in shades of pink. I think there's quite a lot of black in the photo. So it's, it doesn't matter too much uh, what I put behind it because it's still going to pop. But I did like that um, border, I was about to say stripey, but it's diagonal stripes, isn't it? But I think adding a bit more black there does work. And I've got a tray full of lots of bits and pieces. Plus, this is my uh, pink bag as such, where I keep all my embellishments at the end of lines that I just keep together by colour. And I brought in a couple of pink flowers that look very much like American crafts. Uh, one's chipboard and one's a uh, die cut. And it suddenly starts to come together quite quickly. Uh, I've got some uh, acrylic leaves there. They're definitely uh, 49 and Market. I absolutely love these and I'm coming to the end. So I get a bit precious and I cut them up so you only see. I only use the bits you see. There's nothing hidden underneath the photo. The title also was in that bag and I'd got a Bramble Fox um, acrylic uh, perspective there as well. So I'm just going to, I like all the layers, so I'm just going to add a little bit of double-sided tape behind them. I don't want to move them around too much. So I've got that totally in one piece and I've added a gold corner to one side of the photo. I decide that the background paper possibly needs a little bit more. So I've got a stamp there. It's, um, I, I say a text, but you can bet you can't read any of the words on it. And it's a nice script. I'm not using an acrylic block because I don't want any harsh edges. So I'm literally dabbing it on the black ink, dabbing it on the paper to take off like the first um, lot of ink. And I'm literally just using what is left. And then I decide I want to add a little bit more. And this is a stencil and this is a gold ink. Actually, it's running out, which is possibly a good, a good thing. And I'm adding just a little touch. So as like goldy yellow to the background as well. It just means then I can add a couple more gold touches near the end. And I'm starting to like the way that is looking. And with everything, you're going to cover some of this up. So and it's just the background layer. So you probably don't even notice it particularly. It's only because we've seen what the card start looked like at the beginning that you can see the differences. I'm adding just a little bit of glue to the cut file because I don't want it to feel flat. I didn't want to lift it up. I thought that could be quite difficult. But by adding tiny little drops of 
Glue it means like the wings of the hearts literally aren't totally flat on the paper. So now that that's um, stuck, I'm going to add the photograph back in with the layers behind it and start to get this all stuck down. Um, this has come together really easily for me, which doesn't always happen, but um, I really feel like it showcases the cut file, but also the photograph. So I'm going to put all the embellishments around the, around the cluster again, like I had before. I'm adding some foam to some of the bits just to uh, add a little bit of depth. I really like the um, Bramble Fox um, boy and girl holding hands. I think that's really cute. And it's just going to sit on top of the title when I've finished, once I've got these uh, flowers and leaves tucked in. Just using a bit of double-sided on the leaves just underneath the photograph so you can't actually see the tape there. And I'm just going to support the title with some foam. I would really recommend you check out the Cut File crew. We're a bunch of European scrappers who once a month use the same cut file to all create different sorts of layouts. We're based on Instagram. Um, I'm the only one that does videos at the moment. So if you hop on to, over to Instagram and have a look under this layout, I will list all the rest of the team. Loads and loads of inspiration there on how to use a free cut file. So, um, and there's months, years of different uh, layouts for you to have a look at. So I would really recommend there's some amazing scrapbookers in the group and uh, loads of inspiration, as I say. So I've stopped messing with the clusters and I've decided to add a little bit of more mixed media. Uh, just a little bit of white acrylic paint, basically. So I'm mixing it there on an acrylic block just so I can contain the mess. And um, I decided I'm going to add the date. I didn't want to add any journaling because I didn't want to cover the background. So I'm just going to add the date in by the side of the photo. And I've got a couple more bits and pieces just to tuck in. I also found some really nice gold brads that were heart shaped. I think they were Jen Hadfield. And I do um, put one of those in as well. I'm just using a needle to punch the hole. Um, but when I photograph it at the end, it looks a little bit black, but it is actually um, a gold um, brad that I've added. So last bit of leaves that I'm going to tuck in. And I think maybe even a little bit of border, but I just didn't want to cover too much of it. I think it, the heart is very visual, but it actually brings your focus back around to the photograph. So uh, I'm really pleased with the way it's coming on. If you do use this cut file, do tag me. I'd love to see what you make. Um, but as I say, check out the rest of our team. If you've not watched me before, if you'd like to give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate that. You're going to see videos on a regular basis in completely different styles because I kind of just do my own thing. So here's the finished layout and some close-ups too. Thank you so much for watching. It's much appreciated and I hope to see you here again real soon. Bye for now.